guys, Alien here from AI's Tech Reviews. In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing the Dell Precision 5750 at a price of 2400 for this specific spec. Let's see if Dell can justify the price of this mobile workstation. Just from the look of the box, you can see they already have a point to their price. You can see that the lid is held down magnetically, which is a nice touch. The first thing in the box is, uh, is the laptop. Under that are two sections. On the right side is a 130 watt power brick tied with a USB-C cable. In the middle you may notice is a port extender. It plugs into one of the USB-C ports and gives you HDMI and full size USB-A. And on the left is paperwork and the wall adapter. Now back to the laptop. It isn't the thinnest and lightest of machines out there like the MateBook X Pro or Surface Laptop 3, but considering how much power it has, this is pretty good. The somewhat reflective finish on the sides looks good, but could scratch easily. You can see it has a matte display like the Dell S2421H and monitor I've reviewed, and a carbon fibre deck like the Dell XPS. It has also got speakers on either side of the keyboard. The look and feel of the laptop is really good, and first impressions are great. The port selection is like an improved version of the MacBook Pro. You've got two USB-C ports supporting Thunderbolt 3, a headphone jack, nice touch, and a full-size SD card reader on the right. On the left you get a lock slot and two more USB-C ports supporting Thunderbolt 3. All four USB-Cs are 3.2 Gen 2. The processor is an Intel i7-10750H, which has six cores compared to the typical four cores found in the U-series processors, which as a result have more power than the four core U-series processors, which would be in something like a Huawei MateBook X Pro, or the MateBook 13 2020. The RAM is 32GB of DDR4 and 512GB of internal NVMe SSD storage. Now the GPU in this is amazing. It is an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 3000 with 6GB of GDDR6 memory. All of this together creates an absolute powerhouse. The keyboard feels pretty good to type on and accuracy was alright. The carbon fibre deck also felt nice, uh, but did pick up fingerprints which unfortunately are not being picked up by my camera. They weren't as noticeable as on the Surface Laptop 3 however. The trackpad is like silk and probably even better than the Surface Laptop 3's trackpad. The 17.3 inch FHD Plus display has a resolution of 1920 by 1200 and has pretty good colours. The speakers on either side of the keyboard are also superb. The Dell Precision weighs 2.13 kilograms, 4.7 pounds, making this the lightest mobile workstation in the world. It is 13.15 millimeters thick, 374.48 millimeters wide, and has a depth of 248.08 millimeters. So it is a great laptop, but to know if this is the one for you, think about this. This is a mobile workstation and not your average laptop. This means this is made for video editing, th rendering, 3D modeling, and other graphic intensive tasks. So if you're going to use it like a normal machine, that will be a lot of power and money going to waste. So if you want to use this machine to its full potential, then this is for you. But if you're a more average user, or who just be browsing, sending emails, watching videos, then I'd look at another device. So if you guys enjoyed, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.